Welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Austria. So, guys, I want to talk to you guys for serious talk because it's now time for us to go kick some Ottoman booty. So, guys, apparently, well, for one, guys, apparently, I've been thinking a lot about a whole entire strategy with the Ottomans right now, and I've been thinking I've been taking it way too easy. So, instead of, like, having all of our vassals fight the entire battles, we're going to go fight the battles ourselves. Okay, so I'm actually going to go send two armies down there to actually go fight them, because I feel like if I don't take charge in this, this, this war is going to be pretty much over. Alright, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is, because I, basically guys, it's been like an entire week for me, so if I sound kind of weird from where last time, it's been like an entire week, so that's the reason why. But anyways, yeah. Do I have to talk about anything else? No. Oh yeah, this war... I think I'm just gonna still just take the Santo place and then that's it. I don't think I really want Waltona as any kind of like little vassal kind of thing, so yeah. And then with Egypt, yeah, I still wanna go conquer Egypt. That's the whole reason why we freed him was so I could go conquer them. So yeah. I think that's what we're gonna go do. So let's start the game. Let's actually get into this. Uh, let's go destroy. Paraguay is doing something. Russia is going bankrupt. Wow, Russia, you guys go bankrupt really quick. And for some reason, I can add this fear to the Russians. Does that mean the Russians are not a great power anymore? Wait. Yeah, they're technically listed ninth. Wait, who's going to replace them? Japan? Oh my god, the, J the Japanese are invading us, everyone. They're going to be a great power. And apparently, I can invest influence in Paraguay. Okay, okay, okay. Since I can invest influence in Paraguay... Let's do this. In decrease opinion of America. Oh. Oh, I decrease the opinion of the UK. Yeah. Take that, UK. You're not really my friend, so I could totally do that. So, we... So, this, this siege is almost over. There we go. Move this. Move this soldier and move him upwards. And I also should be... Another thing I should also be doing is take control over the uh, Romanian army. Because I can do that. Because since they are my puppet, I can actually take control of the army, which I haven't really been doing all this time because, well, quite frankly, I'm a little bit lazy. <laughs> and because I feel like I don't really want to fight this war. I just, I really just wanted this to be an AI war, but knowing the AI, they'll do something really stupid. So let's, let's go help the AI out, okay? Let's go help our little friends the AI out. Because I already know they're going to be pretty stupid. So let's go, like, save them from their own stupidity. And apparently something's going on with France right now. I, if I remember correctly, France was fighting someone. Or at least they were, because I think they were fighting Russia. I think that's what was happening. And then now they're not fighting Russia anymore. So that's pretty, pretty sad. All right. Decrease relationships with the uh, Egyptians. Yes, Egypt. I know you guys want to be my friends, but in the likelihood of this, we will never be friends. We will never be buds, in other words. Also, in terms of militaristic strength, I think I should probably build up just a little bit more, so... Because I think mortar, mortars are the ultimate... Well... Maybe not in this... I completely forgot that this is a different game. So... Hmm... Oil-driven ships... I believe those are the highest level stuff, so actually never mind, no. I still won't build up... I still won't build up in the military. I mean ships, because I really don't want to invest in ships, I'm just not going to use them in like a couple of years. Alright, so let's see, we have a couple of Ottoman armies moving in right now. We have an entire platoon of Ottoman people over here. The Greeks are not handling it that well, which I should expect to, because Greeks have a hard time when like foreign invaders from over here come and try to attack them. It's just a little known fact, I guess, just a little known fact, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's just, let's just casually invade these guys and take them over and, oh yeah, we we're also doing a little core provincing on the, uh, Russians. Not Russians, the Germans. The Germans. Those pesky Germans. So, that's something that we were doing. Yeah, you guys are in the sphere of the Russians. Whoa. There we go, got it. Don't know what that was. Oh, it's a little gnat. Gosh, I hate those things. Like, seriously, those little tiny bugs are so dang annoying. Like, so annoying. I'm not, I can't even t fathom just like, 
I don't know. I just can't like deal with the Eastern United States. If there was ever, if there was ever a thing I could not deal with the Eastern United States about, it's probably the bugs. All right, hey guys, go save the Romanians. The Romanians are needing help. Guys, go save. Guys, go get your army over there. You can probably no, don't run away. Go save your army. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are idiots. How did you guys ever? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, okay. I'm probably gonna need military access to Montenegro, but oh my gosh, okay. And probably most likely the siege down here is done. Yep, move down here. So, yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, give us a second. Okay, there we go, got Montenegro. Go down here, let's go start sieging up some of this land. Ah, man. Oh, by the way, I want, from Ottomans, I just, I want to not just get, like, Albania formed. I also want to get the little top region of here formed, of Fezian. Why? Because I just want to make sure that I have more power than I actually do. So I want to make sure that when colonialism starts for like this inner provinces right over here, I want to make sure that I have a good base. So that's the reason. You guys, go down there, go crush these guys. All right, back to the battles. Oh my goodness, I'll come save you. Okay, Romania, I know you guys are about to break, but we are coming. Conservatism will prevail, but please guys, do not break! We are literally, our army is literally right there! Do not break! Please do not break! Oh! Well, I'm gonna go destroy the army that, that destroyed you guys, because I'm more powerful than the Ottomans are, militaristically, so... No matter, how many, no matter how many soldiers they put into that battle, I'm going to come out victorious. Yeah, you see, oh my... Do I have gas attacks right now? Is this... I don't think this is gas attacks yet. I, I don't think I've invented gas attacks. Dang, that was devastating. That was just like a straight up destruction. All right, and it seems like Germany's being a jerk right now in terms of spheres. They they really want Bavaria. That's really what they're gonna fight me over, and I'm just gonna be like, uh, no, <laughs> you guys don't get Bavaria. Egypt, stop increasing relationships with me. Okay, we are not friends. Me and you, no friends. Me and you hate each other. Okay. I know we freed you guys from the from the uh, French, but we did it with ulterior motives. We want you guys to be our little vassals, not theirs. Okay, so please, please understand this. Okay, I'm probably done with some sieging down here. Go right there. Yes, and then also this Portugal. Hey, Portugal, you guys are absolutely no help in most wars I've been fighting, but that's okay because you're Portugal. And really, I didn't really conquer you guys because I knew you guys would be a superior militaristic help. So, yeah. Good for you. Okay, let's go crush some of these armies down here. Because I hate, I hate all these Ottomans just running around in these different places. And I crushed this army right there. And you guys about ready to give up? Okay, since you guys are about ready to give up, let me add my war goal. Give me Fezian. No. No. I want Ottoman Fezian. Okay? Give me Fezian or give me death. I think is the proper way of putting it. Okay, you guys are gonna give. If you guys give me that, then we are basically cool. So, once you guys give me that, then we can basically be buddies, and then we could be. Then we could probably high five each other forever and ever and ever. Because I don't think after I really do believe it, after this war, I don't think I really have to fight the Ottomans ever again. Like, let me think about it. Do I really need to do anything else to the Ottomans? I've basically broken up the empire over here. Well. Okay, maybe there'll probably be one more war, just because I have to destroy this. I have to conquer this part of Tripoli. But other than that, I think basically after this, we're basically going to be friendly with the Ottomans. You, we are not going to be friends next turn. And next turn, I'm going to fabricate a core onto you, and then we're going to start conquering you. Okay? And by the way, you guys down here, you guys are almost done with your sieging. Okay, and you guys, you're almost done with your sieging. Go down here. Alright. Ottomans. You guys done? They would not accept this offer yet. They, they have not been beaten up enough. Okay. Everyone go beat him up more. <laughs> That's such a mean thing to say. But yes. Everyone go beat him. Go beat him up more. We need to go beat up the Ottomans. Okay. Go send this army over there. Oh yes. My good armies. Alright. Speaking of other stuff I want to also do. Though. I do want to build like. Wait. Wait. No. 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 Not in Africa. Not in Africa. It would take me a long time to collect all the ones in Africa. Alright, build some steamer ships in our country, like 33 steamer ships. Because I want to be like, I want to make sure that we have Great War discovered! Yes! So Russia has discovered Great Wars, which means now 
officially, guys, I can now start breaking up all the empires of the people I hate. So next turn, well, actually, in the future wars, if we get two or two, if we get into any kind of great wars, there will be an actual event that will help us to fight more people, which will be awesome. I can't wait for this. This is going to be so awesome going into great wars. Great wars are probably the funnest thing about this mod. It is the is the most best thing you added about this game is wait did they move it's oh the capital's now Akira oh it seems like they finally switched it up apparently we beat them so badly that they were like huh we should probably not do this anymore so yeah I, I didn't know that I didn't know they switched so it's temple's no longer the capital huh Greece should really capitalize on that well it still has an opportunity Ooh, you guys that's an idiot move right there what's this boom oh Ooh, they might actually have a chance in that battle. Hey, Greece, could you guys help me out? Yeah, peace. Annex, thank you. But, hey, Greece, could you guys go send your soldiers over there just so... Ah, you idiots. 40% trickling minimum wage. You, just, if you want minimum wage, just tell me you want minimum wage. I am being a nice guy, okay? I am not being the tyrannical dictator I usually am. Hey, hey, Greece, could you go send your... I need your help. Seriously, Greece, I need your help. Splendid idea. Greece, go! No, don't just touch the. Oh my gosh, Greece. You guys are idiots. I almost feel like leaving you to your own demise because you're such an idiot country. Okay, you guys want. Yes, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, you guys. Okay, now that you guys are officially a little lower than us, I'm gonna go start preparing for war against you guys. Greece, you guys are such idiots. Oh my goodness, like, seriously, you guys are idiots. Okay, apparently, Fezian now can become a protectorate. Oh, it can become a state? What? Dang, I didn't even do anything. It was just like, instant statehood. Wow, I didn't, I didn't even know what I did. Just like, instant, like, I just get over the country and it's already a state. It's like, yes, we were waiting for the mighty, the mighty Austrians to come over and conquer us. Huh. Sweet, I love it. Okay, get get the whistle tour. So now, I'm doing the whistle tour in a time of great peace. So that's really good for our country. Um, I also really want to do the Dan Duberian Federation reform, but sadly, my militancy is still really high. And as we know through history, when you have high inflation, it usually crashes your. Oh my God, my economy's starting to crash. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that is not good. That is not good. That is definitely not good. Time to tax the poor. <laughs> To get out of this, we tax the poor. That is a terrible idea for social reform, but... Tax the poor is the best way to get out of this. Yay! Okay, it actually, to be honest, it is probably the best way to get out of this. You need to tax the poor just, just for a little bit, and then... Italian Northern Patriots, yeah, the basically the game is basically geared towards trying to screw you over. And this is one of the events that usually tries to screw you over with. Okay, so about 41%. I'm going to try to balance this out just a little bit, okay, just so that we can get a good balance, okay. Rich, I don't care about you. Rich, like, the rich are the one people I do not care about in this game. They screwed me over like six times, so they don't get, they don't get free emissions anymore. The middle class do deserve, do deserve, like, no taxes, because they actually pay for a lot of my stuff. So, if you're middle class, you're great in my country. If you're not middle class, well, you should become middle class. You get less taxes that way. Now, I know people don't like taxes. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. I'm oh, sorry about that, people. I'm, I'm eating ice cream. And the ice cream's really good, so I didn't want to talk about it. Let's go move this guy over here. Let's go expand our new state, which is so weird to think about. How did this become a state? Did, do I have, like, Turkish accepted as a culture right now? Hmm. Mm. Oh, by the way, just by war, demand it, protect it. We're going to get that as soon as possible because I have a feeling that Egypt will probably industrialize really, really soon because, well, it's Egypt, first of all, and it's Egypt. I just have a feeling. Let's just say that. I have a really good feeling that these guys are going to industrialize. So we're going to try to conquer them as soon as possible. Goodness gracious. Man, do I love Le Glass. Le Glass is just like the best. Seriously, oh my goodness. Like, if there's one, if there's a meal I could probably have every single day for the rest of my life, it's probably the glass. 
Oh, oh my goodness. Alright, you guys, go into your territory, just kind of hook up there, and just relax. We're not really going to be using you guys for a little bit. Man, there's so much militancy in my country. Gosh, why do you hate me so much, my country? We're supposed to be brothering. By the way, how's my political parties lining up in terms of support? Nationality-wise, I don't really care, because I, I already know we're, we're a very dispersed nation. Political loyalty. Very conservative, which is what I like. Very conservative. Hmm. Has anyone invented communism yet? Anyone really communist? No one's really communist in this. Wow. That's kind of disappointing right there. Let's see, and then, yeah, here's the rest of the- Oh, man, there's lots of migration to my country. Because, oh yeah, because America gets this, like, major boost to, like, econ like, immigrants because, well, it's America, so, yeah. Don't really have to be said much there. Oh, man. You know, I'm just gonna stop, stop talking for a second and just get the rest of this ice cream eaten. And let's go get declare war instantly on Egypt so I can instantly get them underneath our control. Conservative, alright. Alright, Egypt. We've been friends for a lot of times, but it's time for you guys to be underneath my control. Call in everyone I can. We're all gonna go help me conquer Egypt. Yes, yes, yes. Good job, everyone, for helping me conquer Egypt. Man, I have such a good alliance sphere. Alright. You guys are gonna be my main army for gonna go conquer Egypt. Egypt should actually not have that big of an army. 23 troops, that's only about maybe 16 units at the most. And he, he, the Ottomans go bankrupt. Why did I not see that coming? War reparations, I could do that. I could do that, but it would be kind of stupid in my opinion. Spain has some kind of rebel- Spain, you better not be dealing with too many serious rebels. Good. Because I really- you got the most annoying state to ever try to conquer back. Like, seriously. Oh, the World Fair! Oh well, we shall attend anyways. Mm-hmm, chip chap cheerio. I mean, I don't really care about that, but yeah. If we, if we want to attend, we, we can attend. I don't really care too much, so. Yeah, we're at war with Egypt. I mean, Egypt- Egypt's gonna be a great prize if we can get it. I mean, look at this. All this this land and then like a 1.45 million increase in terms of people. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be this is gonna be the biggest conquest we've ever done. I think even bigger than Ethiopia was. I think, you know, I think was Ethiopia was only like 1.2. And it didn't have the political institution of the Suez Canal underneath their control. So this is gonna be even a better conquest. Alright, you guys just go right here. I'll just send my troops over there. Speaking of which, we should probably start upgrading all of our shipbuilding places. Because, yeah, we do need to kind of upgrade a lot of our stuff. Uh, we don't need to upgrade our railroads, because I'm pretty sure some other good capitalist people are going to do that for me. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. Uh, we apparently don't have any railroads over here, which is kind of stupid. I mean, no shipyards over here, which is kind of stupid. Alright, let's see, we have everything we need. We need one right here. One right there. Just keep upgrading. Just keep upgrading. We just have to upgrade everything, honestly. Like, everything has to be upgraded. We also have one over here. Doom, boom. And then we also have one over here in Johor! Yay! This is a little colony I, I do not forget about at all. Okay, now that we've upgraded all that, let's get back to our war. Or really, I should call it the war to just basically be jerks. I mean, we're not really, we're not really doing anything really that important. We could probably, if we wanted to, we could probably leave these guys alone, but, eh, I really do want them underneath my control, so. And isn't that basically what colonialism is? It's just, it's that we really don't have to do it, but we just really want to. And that all G output right there will help my economy boost it by a lot. We could also start investing in organic chemistry. I'm just basically going to go down this line a little bit more because I have, I'm an industrial, I'm a militaristic complex right now. So that means I get bonuses to like industry and industry is really good. Apparently there's some German brigades forming and most likely more than not is going to happen is that they're probably going to become a uh, North Germanic Federation because just in the game North Germanic Federation is scripted to be the like Germany of today. So there's that. We're also going to send our troops over here. We're going to go... Hey, Bulgaria! You guys are over here, too. Hey, 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 hey. 
We're also going to help you conquer this land, because this is going to be... Oh my goodness, look at all this land. And then, the basic... Ah! I'll see you guys next time!